Hey guys, it's Janice. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys my normal morning routine. And this is sort of the routine I've developed to help like boost my productivity during the day. And this routine helps me calm my mind and stay focused so that for the rest of the day, I can get on with what I need to do and be productive and successful. During the holidays, I will usually wake up at 7 something or 8 something and waking up early allows me to have a lot of time for my routine and also I get more time to actually do my stuff later on in the day and so waking up early is the first step to productivity for me. The first thing I do is meditate and for me that just means sitting quietly on the sofa or on my bed just closing my eyes and just not thinking about stuff so this is really hard for me because I am such an overthinker, but I just try to sit quietly and think about nothing just to calm my mind before I get started with my day. For the next part of my routine, I actually set up a little place in my room for it and it's just this green box where I put all the things I will need for this part of my routine and they're mostly Bible study and devotion stuff. So the first thing I have is Jesus Calling, which is a devotion by Sarah Young and I love this one. The second thing I have here is my Bible and it is the message and on the side I clipped in a what do you call that a clip and then I just put my highlighter in it so I can have it with my Bible whenever I need it and the third thing I have is my prayer journal and I've made a video about this before so you can probably find it on my channel but it's just a journal I made earlier on to write my Bible study stuff and prayers and then I have a bunch of little booklets from Our Daily Bread and these are their devotionals and also some other resources they have and I just keep them in here in case I'll need them someday. And the fourth thing I have or the fifth thing is my journal and this is my current Bible study journal. I stopped using my prayer journal for that and I just do my Bible studies in here and write down my thoughts and stuff after every devotion I do and I love this notebook. And then I have a pencil case where I put all the pens I use for writing in that journal. And I think these are big pens and I also have a highlighter or two in there. So these are just all the pens I need for my journaling. The last thing I have here is my journal. And this is my day-to-day -day journal where I will write down all my thoughts and rants and about what happened during the day and all that stuff. So this is just my normal journal slash diary. So that's all the stuff in my box, but the first thing I will do is actually do my devotions and currently I'm using the Bible app on my phone to do my devotions. I'm following some devotion plans on there and so I will just read through that and look at the Bible verses. After that I will take out my Bible and then I'll highlight the Bible verses that stuck out to me the most and I will just highlight them using this highlighter thing I clipped to my Bible. And then the third thing I'll do is journal, and this depends on how I'm feeling that day, but some days I will write in my Bible study journal, like I'm doing right now, and I will write down a verse that stuck out to me from the devotion I did earlier, and I'll write down my thoughts on that verse and how I can apply it, and if I don't feel like doing that, then I will write in my normal day-to-day -day journal and just write for a page or two of my entire stream of consciousness and just write down all my thoughts. And I think this is one of the best ways to begin my mornings because when I write down all my thoughts, I will just empty up my mind so I can be focused for the rest of the day without having all these random thoughts flying around in my head. And then the next part of my morning is not that compulsory, I just sort of do it if I feel like it. And that is exercising and I don't have video clips of me exercising so this is my hamster. And I like exercising in the morning occasionally because I have a lot of energy in the morning and after that I can feel really accomplished and feel satisfied so I can get on with the rest of my day. But it just depends on how I feel, sometimes I just hate exercising in the morning. But then the next part of my morning routine is something I will do every single day and that is to eat breakfast because breakfast is the most important meal of the day as people say so you gotta eat it. And then the next thing I do is plan in my bullet journal. 99% of the time I will plan in my bullet journal but sometimes my workload is just so huge and I just have such a huge list of things to do that I will take out this other planning thing I have and write down a list of all the stuff I have to do 
and this was one of those days. This weekend was so busy, so I just took out this planning to-do list from Typo, I believe, and I just wrote down everything I had to do. So I would say that this is the most crucial part of my morning routine to ensure that I will have a productive and successful day because by writing everything out, I can have my day in focused and just know what I have to do throughout the day and so planning is the most important part of my morning routine. But after that, you can pretty much just go out and conquer the world. So you're done and you can get started with your day and actually do the things that will make you productive and successful. And that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. And please let me know in the comments what your morning routine is like and what kind of aspects you have to it so we can all like share ideas. And so please also let me know what videos you'd like to see me make next. And by the way, I will probably not make a video next week because I'm super busy with school. But yeah, I'll just see what I can do. But thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!